Good morning, wonderful, amazing, sweet and lovely people, my international audience. How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day today. And I hope you're not letting anybody steal your joy. Welcome to Mariam's Joyful Life. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you all for joining me. I'm going, to, I'm going down the steps one step at a time. This is how you walk, how you walk on water. One foot in front of the other. You keep going, keep going, keep going. One foot in front of the other. Yes, Levy. Today is a beautiful day. Thank you all so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. I love you all so much. So I picked up the camera today. That's your black Corvette. God is faithful. In all things, you got to give glory to God. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries. You got to stand firm and give glory to God because God is good. God is always faithful. So today I picked up the camera to vlog. You know, I have been so tired. You know what I mean? I've been so tired, walking hard, talking. But you know what? What makes me happy is filming myself and empowering people and telling you guys, it does not matter what is going on. If you trust in the Lord, you will get through it. God is going to bring you out of it. God is going to bless you, lift you up, elevate you, promote you, and increase you. And that's what I promise you. It does not matter how deep. Y'all, God is good. God is good. So today's a good day. Today's a really good day. And I am currently, <laughs> you guys, so I'm in here. I want to fix Levy, as always, um, potty training assets. So she has this for the toilet, put it right here, right? And Zoe has this. That's us too. Zozo is over there rolling because I refused to give her the iPad this morning. All Zoe wants to do is watch iPad. I'm telling her we gotta do other things. Now she's just running all over the place. My baby, running all over, where is she? Where is, where is that baby? Where is that baby? What are you doing? All right, get the biscuit out of the oven. We gotta cook, so we're gonna turn on the oven. 350. What is that, Levy? Come here. Those are your cars. This is one of your cars. Yes. What is that one in that hand? What kind of car is that? This is a purple car. And that one? And this is a black car. Good job. Do you like your cars? Yes. Black car and the purple, purple car. car. Good. You love your cars. I'm going to get you a new collection of cars by the grace of God. Le'Veon loves cars, everybody. And Zoe is helping Mama get biscuit out of the fridge. I got a biscuit out. Thank you very much, sweet baby. Are you ready to eat? Sausage and biscuits. Sausage and biscuits. Put a biscuit over here. Good job. Now Zozo, open this up and get mama the, the, the pan. You see that? That right there, that baking sheet? Bring it out. No, no, no. This one, baby. Bring that one out for mama. Thank you. Uh, Hand it to me. Yeah, get it out. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. There's a way mama does it. Mama just lifts it this way and get it out. Get it out. Uh, I had one that I really got it to the water. Yeah. No, Mama's gonna use this one. Big yes. We're gonna make some biscuits. Careful. Pizza and that Yes, it is. So I am in the kitchen. What about to? What is it? Yeah, the cookie fish, baby. You can't. I don't want you to eat anything else first, but um, what do you call it? The food, the breakfast. I'm about to cook. Oh, that's your black Corvette. So we are about to cook. I don't even know where I put these items. My bed. Those are the chips. Levy, what color is this? Yeah, but this is a purple Corvette. Good job. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys, so this is the 
biscuit. And I don't want to make the whole thing because I'm trying not to eat too much biscuits. I will just make four of these. But I'm gonna have like I'm gonna have this plastic wrap. Because after I open the biscuit, I'm gonna need to wrap it back up. Those are your cars, baby. Your cars are nice. Good job. Good job. We're going to race the cars. Okay. I want to make four. Just four of these. This one is go fast. Okay. This one goes fast. That one goes fast? That's good. I want you guys to see how I roll it up. So I, I gotta cover it up because you don't want it to have to be exposed to air. Now I'm just gonna cut this. Now we put it in the fridge. We have four, two for Levy, two for Zozo. No juice. I told you guys, I asked if we could go to Walmart yesterday. You guys said no. So we didn't go to Walmart, so we don't have juice today. You guys are gonna drink water with your breakfast. So we always, for a long time now, I have been giving the kids, um, what do you call it? Orange juice with breakfast in the morning. Guess what? Yesterday, we're going out to buy Zaxby's. I said, babies, do you want us to go to Walmart and get your um, juice first and then go get Zaxby's? No, we wanna to go to Zaxby's and get our food. Okay, went to Zaxby's, got the food, came home and they ate the food. We didn't buy, we didn't buy orange juice. So we don't have orange juice this morning, and now they're, they're like, Zoe's picking up our cup. Orange juice, orange juice. No orange juice today. But we're gonna go. We're done eating. I'm gonna take them out. We're gonna go get orange juice. There are a few things that we need. But God is faithful, you guys. God is faithful, and I'm grateful. God is faithful. <clears throat> Thank you all for all of your support. You guys are amazing. I love you all so much. You're in my heart. This makes me happy. Like making videos, inspiring people, and connecting to the world. You know what I mean? It makes me happy. So I want to I do more of what makes me happy, you know, and alongside the other things that I, I'm doing as well. You know what I mean? Like getting that money, making sure that I'm getting money <laughs> with my other underboss. But I want to combine that with what I love so that I can have the balance. You know what I mean? So thank you all for letting, for, for giving me the opportunity to make this and love on you guys to make videos, okay? And my voice is still like this. I'm still drinking honey. So... I've been drinking honey. This is Sam's Choice Dark Wildflower 100% Raw Honey. I need it. And I also need a haircut. I need to go get my haircut. Like bald again. I know it's short, but I just want it to be lower. Like the bald at the better, baby. The bald at the better. So that's what it is. I should do the back. So we're still cooking. I'm still making breakfast. So I was ups upset, so I had to pick my baby up and hold her. Make her know that she's loved by her mama. That's what's going on right now. Sausages are done. There they are. The biscuits, we're about to get out of the oven too. Uh, uh, no! So yeah, you guys, that's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna check the, the oven. For the food. And my voice, please, Claire. Claire, voice, Claire. It's gonna be okay. But anyways, let's check the let's check the biscuit. And mama have to put you down. Ooh, that's my girl. Ooh yeah, the biscuits are done. I bet What's up, sweet amazing people? We're still at it this morning. Today's Sunday, by the way. I don't know if I let you guys know, but today's Sunday. And we are over here sitting, watching Elevation Church. Pastor Stephen Ferdy. And my babies are sorting out colors thanks to one of my amazing friends Lynn. Lynn sent them this this is for Zozo actually but Le'Veon likes to play with it too so both of them are sharing it and I'm over here just relaxing I love Elevation Church Pastor Stephen Furtick and his wife Holly Furtick oh my goodness y'all I feel like they're my mentors like I get 
they empower me. You know what I mean? Elevation worship empowers me. Elevation church, like the message is just, God is good. God is good. They have been a blessing to me. They have been a blessing to me. So I'm watching them right now and I want to share them with you. This is another story of a person whose life has been touched through this church. God is working in this church and he's doing it through you. And I never want to miss the opportunity to thank you. Levion also knows where the green goes. Good job. Now take it off again and do it again. Do it again. We moved here about three years ago, but we didn't really know a lot of people. So it felt kind of lonely. So we just knew Ron and Lisa, who we had known from Connecticut. And Lisa was just somebody I could relate to. You know, we're moms of a bond of family. We have very similar backgrounds. And I find that she's the type of friend where I can tell her anything. She just is somebody who has really inspired me, and she really is the one that pushed us, she and Ron, to, to go to church, you know, to, her to go with us to church. And I didn't know if she had a relationship with the Lord, but why wouldn't I invite a friend to church? We went, and I looked at me, and I was looked at me, and I was like, what is going on here? This is crazy. What was really neat about it was that everybody was so excited to sing about Jesus and God and their faith. And then Pastor Stephen started talking, and I, I cried because it was like I could so identify with everything that he was saying. And for the first time ever, I left church, and I actually could talk about it. Like, I could talk to them about, like, oh, my gosh, like, that, I, that, so I so identify with that. I didn't know if she was looking for a group or not, um, but I, I, I knew that she wanted some more community. And so we finally had an opportunity to have a conversation about it. She said, had said to me, you know, for, for this coming year, I want to find a group. And I said, well, perfect, because I know one. She said, yeah, why don't you come with me? So we went to, to Kelly's house and She's like, this is an e-group for all sorts of women, just kind of recovering from what And I said, I fit that one. I really love I love watching Elevation Worship and my spirit gets elevated and fired up each time I watch Elevation Worship so I'm grateful uh oh it's just the green skulls that's my son Women are going through stuff, but you know, we gotta support one another. No! To stay strong and empowered. So. I'm strong not because I don't feel weak. I'm strong because God is strong. I have faith and I keep moving because I know who I am. So it's not that I don't go through stuff. It's not that it's not hard. It's not that Hannah is not doing things to really piss me off and, and that really hurt because I know, I know the kind of people he has around them around him, negative and very um, evil-minded. But in spite of everything, when you have God, God is your refuge and your strength. God keeps keeping me, God keeps me going. You know, nothing they do will ever prosper. The Bible says, no weapon may be formed, it will not prosper. I'm confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's why I trust in the Lord. That's why I'm strong. That's why you see me dancing, singing, shouting, going about my life in spite of everything. Because I know that the storms will not swallow me up. I know that. I know. I know. I know how the story ends. It ends in praise. I am more than a conqueror. Jesus already delivered me. I'm already delivered. I'm already saved. 
and no devil from hell can steal my joy. I'm sharing because I want you guys to know that when we pray, when we are strong, it's not because we, we've not experienced weakness or there aren't things to make us feel weak, but it's because we know whose we are and where we draw our strength from. So we don't allow circumstances and situations drown us. We keep going. We stand firm and face that giant. We don't back down from it. And I don't back down from any giant. It doesn't matter where the giant came from. It does not matter. I stand strong and I face that giant because I know I am created by God. And if God be for me, who can be against me? No one. Stop in the, in the, um, in the womb for John. He goes into the wilderness. Okay. What's in the wilderness. From the womb to the wilderness, God's hand was on this boy. Isn't that pretty preaching, Jeffy? From the womb to the wilderness. God was with you before it got started. He's, he's with you. He was with you in the womb. He's with you in the wilderness too. But John was preaching in the wilderness. He went there by choice and he declared, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I got to show you this. In, in Matthew 3, verse 11, this is part of his message. He said, I baptize you with water for repentance. Change. Turn. Change. Turn, right? He's preaching about repentance. But he said, after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Who's he talking about? Jesus. It's not a trick question. The answer is Jesus.